Hi guys, my name is Richard. I'm an instructor with Eco Training, and in light of the fact that World Giraffe Day is just around the corner, we thought we'd head out this morning and see if we can find a few giraffe. And while we're doing that, why don't you please hit that like and subscribe button so you can uh, get all our updates from forthcoming events. Alright guys, so Carla who's on the front seat there, Carla is one of our professional field guide students, she's been helping us this morning. She's just found some giraffe tracks uh, heading off down the road, so we're going to follow those for a bit and hopefully we come across what we're looking for. Alright guys, so we've just come across what we've been looking for the whole morning. We've got three giraffe in front of us over here. We've got a, a female, a male and what looks like her offspring uh, standing just behind a tree in the distance there. Hopefully we'll get some good shots of her shortly. But this is obviously, as I'm sure you all know, the world's tallest uh, mammal. Also the world's tallest ruminant, the world's largest ruminant in fact as well. So that means they have four stomachs. Very similar to our everyday uh, domestic cow we might come across back home. But uh, over here these are the southern giraffe. Depending where your, your travels take you in Africa, you get different species of giraffe. But uh, in southern Africa where we are at the moment, on the Pridelands Conservancy in uh, South Africa, just uh, part of the Greater Kruger National Park. We just have the Southern Giraffe over here, so that's all we need to worry about remembering, which makes our life a lot, lot easier uh, out here. Um, a couple of easy ways if you want to tell them apart, besides obviously the fact sometimes, you know, the female has a young right next to her, that makes, them, uh, makes it quite easy, but males typically get quite dark with old age. As they age, you'll see those, those spots on them become much, much darker. And also as they get older as well, their horns or ossicones as we actually call them. But no one says look at those lovely ossicones, we always say look at those lovely horns over there. You'll see that they, as they get older, they start losing all their hair. And also the males get all these calcified lumps and bumps growing all over their skull as well. So they look, uh, they start looking quite uh, lumpy and bumpy with old age as well. And obviously the males are a little bit taller than the females as well. Um, over here where we see them feeding in these open areas, but currently they're feeding on our umbrella thorn. That's that very typical picture postcard tree you might see of Africa with the uh, the flat top uh, or, the, or the flat crown of the tree you often see in, in pictures and uh, of Africa, that quintessential African picture that we have there. Uh, another favorite tree they like around here is our knob thorn as well. Uh, those are all some of their favorite foods. But in this area we've got a lot of clay soils at the moment where we are and we do find a lot of umbrella thorns growing here and also because we're in the middle of winter we're finding a lot of giraffe are coming to these areas because the clay soil obviously hold a lot more water and the trees around this area are a little bit greener than everywhere else so even though it's quite a warm day today and the giraffe are standing in the sun uh, there's not much shade for them out here they are coming here because this is the best place they're going to find uh, food at the moment All right guys, so as you can see we were successful this morning in finding our giraffe. Uh, if you enjoyed this morning's uh, little insert, please like and subscribe. And also don't forget to hit the bell so you get all of our notifications as well.